Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We were talking about how to benefit from the month of Muharram. We first talked about why it's important to commemorate Imam Hussein's martyrdom alayhi salam. And we talked about some of the questions that some of the youth had. Then we got into how to benefit spiritually, how to truly become Husseini alayhi salam. And we said the first step is that a person should realize the bala and tragedy that befell Imam Hussein. The second step is that we should truly grieve and mourn for Imam Hussein. And the third is that we should align ourselves, we should have a Husseini lifestyle, and we should separate ourselves from any type of Yazidi or the enemies of Imam Hussein's lifestyles. Today, or right now, I want to talk about reaching Imam Hussein, becoming close to Imam Hussein. And this is something that is very important for the youth, is that sometimes we make religion full of wajibat, obligations, and prohibitions, and muharramat. And a, a young person begins to practice Islam, and they practice and practice, but they don't realize the joy, they don't taste Islam. They don't realize how sweet Islam can be. And one of the sweetest things about Islam is the love of Prophet Muhammad and the Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam It is one of the sweetest things. Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam says in Tuhaful Uqul, لكل شيء أساس For everything there is a foundation, there is a pillar. وأساس الإسلام حبنا أهل البيت And the foundation of Islam is the love of the Ahlul Bayt. It is very important for us when we reach spirituality and we go to the morning ceremonies of Imam Hussein, the majalis of Imam Hussein, that we taste this connection to Imam Hussein, that we reach Imam Hussein. And if a person is only, their entire life is full of wajibat and muharramat, and they don't taste the beauty of, of Islam, they don't get, as we say, intoxicated with the love of the Ahlul Bayt. They don't feel in bliss, sweet bliss of Islam. A person, this might have a da damaging effect for that person. And the, the entire purpose that when we reach Allah and we seek closest to Allah, we are at the same time this live that and this joy that now this is incomparable with all other joys that we have because many of us have gi given a lot for Islam. Many of us have made a lot of sacrifices. It's important that those sacrifices that we've made and now in turn we get this reward of this joy and the spirituality that it is actually much more sweeter and much more weightier than the things that we gave up. Because this is happiness. Happiness is that when a person has more joy and a person has less problems and less pain and manages their pain, the more a person has happiness in their life, the more they have joy and the less they have misery, they say this person is happy, right? So when we look at spirituality and we want to make ourselves a happy person, the more we become in love with Allah, the more we have the sense of spirituality, this, the sweetness of Islam, the more we taste Islam, the more we are in love with the Ahlul Bayt, the better our lives will be, the more happy we will become. It is very interesting that there's a narration. Not only in the world is, this, is it like this, that when a believer realizes that there's other joys in life, that besides these physical joys that we have, when a person reaches God in spirituality, when a person comes to know Imam Hussein, this joy outweighs everything else. And this is from the narrations that we have. When we look at those that become in love with Imam Hussein alayhi salam and those that cry for Imam Hussein, it says in Kamil al-Ziyarat, it says that such a person will come to heaven. And the narration goes from Imam Sadiq that a person that all the 
the eyes will be weeping on the day of judgment. They will be weeping except for those that cry for Imam Hussein in this narration. And then those who wept for him and received glad tidings, they are resurrected. And then how are they resurrected in this narration? It says, they have joy and happiness on their faces the day that others will feel fear and discomfort. But this is the part that I wanted to talk about is this, is that when a person truly appreciates and realizes who Imam Hussein is, السلام, it says, وَهُمْ هُدَّاثُ Hussein, There will be a group that they will be speaking to Imam Hussein in heaven. تَحْتِ الْعَرْشِ وَذِلِّ الْعَرْشِ لَا يَخَافُونَ سُوءَ يَوْمِ الْحِسَابِ They are speaking to Imam Hussein and they don't even fear the trials of the Day of Judgment. There people come to them. It is told to them, يُقَالَ لَهُمْ أُدْخُلُ الْجَنَّةِ It's come, It says, they say to them, enter heaven, come and enter heaven. But they refuse. فَيَعْبَوْنَ وَيَخْتَارُونَ مَجْلِسِهِ وَحَدِيثَ they tell him, go towards heaven, come and enter now. But they say, no, we'd rather talk with Imam Hussein because they have seen the reality of Imam Hussein. Because Imam Hussein is their heaven. They have reached this ultimate joy. What is heaven? Ultimate joy and bliss. And when we minimize pain, there's no more pain anymore. And they realize how sweet it is talking and knowing Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Then in the narration it says the women of paradise come. وَإِنَّ الْحُورِ لَتُرْسَلُوا إِلَيْهِمْ They come to them, again to bring them. But then it says in the narrations, فَمَا يَرْفَعُونَ رُؤُسَهُمْ إِلَيْهِمْ They don't even raise their heads. Their heads are low. They're talking to Imam Hussein, the Hur. The women of paradise come to bring them towards heaven. Again, they refuse and they don't even raise their heads. Why? Because it says the happiness and the honor that they feel while sitting in the presence of Imam Hussein is much greater than any other material or physical pleasure. Brothers and sisters, we have to be very careful that when we approach Islam and when we practice Islam, we do it in a way that we are enjoying it, that we have joy, that we're not just forcing ourselves. And that after we do these ibadats, it is very natural that we should start to begin to feel this joy, the joy of this new connection with Allah, this joy of connecting to the Ahlul Bayt. And this is something that is very specific to the school of thought of the Ahlul Bayt is this joy and love that their followers have, that if they gave them the entire world, they would rather give it away to have this connection with the Ahlul Bayt. So in this Muharram, let's inshallah brothers and sisters, connect towards Imam Hussein and approach Muharram in a way that we're doing all this to get ma'rifat and knowledge of Imam Hussein with our nur, with our light. Because we all need light, we all need nur. Not only do we need physical things in life or emotional needs that we have, we also need light. That is why sometimes in society people feel that they have depression or they don't feel that things are going the way they should be, they don't feel right. That is because they don't have nur, they don't have light. Imam Hussein salam is light. Those that cry for him, they will be given light. Those that visit him, they will be given light. Those that think of him and remember him, they will be given light. The Ahlul Bayt are light and nur. Let's inshallah connect with the nur of Imam Hussein alayhi salam and his family in this month of Muharram. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ahl bayti tayyibin al-tahirin.